Hey there and welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework Video Solutions. So today we have a simplification problem. So we're going to simplify an expression using the multiplication property of exponents. So let's see it. Okay, so we have simplify the quantity 3y to the second power times the quantity in parentheses 2y all raised to the third power. Okay, so we are going to need to use the multiplication properties of exponents. And actually we're going to we're going to learn both the multiplication and the power property. So before we even get into this, let's review what those say. So we'll put this aside for a minute and we'll bring this over. Okay, it says the multiplication property of exponents. So if you have two things with the same base, a to the m times a to the n, you simply keep this base the same, right? That's not going to change and you're going to add the exponents. So let's look at what this means. Okay, it's sometimes easier with an example. So if I had x to the third power times x to the second power, okay, let's really break these down. Let's write x cubed in expanded form. So x cubed is simply x times x times x, and we're multiplying that to x squared, which is really just x times x. Okay, so if we wanted to write this multiplication, x times x times x times x times x, in exponential form, my base is going to be x, it's the only thing I'm multiplying, and I'm multiplying five factors of it. So it's x to the fifth. So x to the third times x squared is simply x to the three plus two or x to the fifth power. Now, power property is slightly different. It's when you're raising, something is already raised to a power and you're raising that entire quantity to another power. Okay, so for example, let's say I have x squared and I am cubing that. Well, again, let's use expanded form to see what this looks like. So we have in this parenthesis, we have x times x, and we are cubing that. So that means we have three groups of x times x. So that's x times x, x times x, okay? So if we were going to write this in expanded, not expanded, excuse me, exponential form, we would write base of x to the one, two, three, four, five, six, 6 power, 3 times 2 is 6. If you remember multiplication is represented by exponents, or exponents rather, represent multiplication, it makes sense to you that this here would represent multiplication. You're raising this to a power and you're taking that and raising that power to another power. Okay, so let's kind of remember those and go back to our actual problem. All right, so here, something that's important to note, when we have 3y squared, only the y is being squared, okay? Three is not being squared. So we have three y squared here. And then here we do have to do a little bit of work. We really have to say that this two y cubed is actually two cubed times y cubed, okay? And this doesn't really involve the power property. I mean, technically there's a power of one here, three times one is three, but you're really kind of just making sure that you distribute this exponent to both things within the parentheses. Oftentimes, this 2 gets neglected, and people will, instead of writing 2 cubed, they will still have a 2 in their final answer. Okay, so we're going to multiply 2 cubed and y cubed. Now let's clean this up. Okay, so 2 cubed is 8. Okay, so let's just replace that with an 8. Okay, and now 3, remember we're multiplying this, 3y squared times 8y cubed. So 3 times 8 is 24. And using our property here, y squared times y to the third is y to the two plus three, which is y to the fifth, okay? So 24y to the fifth is this answer in simplified form. It's in its most simplest form. You don't have um, multiple instances of the same variable. You couldn't leave, for instance, 24, like you couldn't leave it like this, uh, 24y squared, y cubed. Okay, that would be essentially like giving a final answer that looks like 2 plus 3. You would just combine that and write 5. So you need to combine this and get this as your final answer. All right, I hope that helped. If you have questions, pop them in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so I can solve your homework next. And thanks for watching.